In this video, we're going to look at the essential steps for making your first recording in Pro Tools. This video assumes that your I.O. setup has already been configured correctly. For the first step when you're preparing to record audio is to make sure that the track's input and output path are assigned correctly. In the Mix window, we can go to the Input Path Selector and choose one of our available inputs, in this case a microphone. My output path is already set to the stereo mix. Next, we're ready to record enable the track. With the track record enabled, you'll be able to see the input level on the track's meter. You'll want to make sure that you're getting the loudest possible signal without being in danger of clipping. Note that if you need to adjust this input level, you'll need to adjust the gain on your microphone preamp or your I.O. device. This is because the track's volume fader only adjusts your monitoring level and does not affect record levels. At this point, you'll also want to give the track a meaningful name. This is because Pro Tools uses the track name as the default name for clips that result from a record pass. And now we're ready to make our first recording. There are several ways to begin recording in Pro Tools. The simplest way is to press the record button to put Pro Tools into record ready mode and then press play. One, two, three, four. You can also press Control Spacebar on Windows or Command Spacebar on the Mac or use the F12 key to begin recording immediately without first entering Record Ready. Once you've finished recording, you can go to the clip list in the edit window to see the resulting clips. The clip list can contain two different types of clips. The first is a whole file clip, which represents an actual audio file that lives on your hard drive. These are shown in the boldface type. The other type is the standard clip, sometimes called a subset clip, which is shown in normal type. If you have stereo clips, stereo is shown in parentheses at the end of the file name. You can view the left and right components of the stereo clip by clicking on the disclosure triangle to the left of the file name. And of course, you can see all of these types of clips on the track playlists. Here we see mono clips on the main playlist of the vocal track and stereo clips on the main playlist of the guitar track. As I previously mentioned, it's important to give tracks meaningful names before you start recording. This is because Pro Tools automatically creates clip names based on the name of the track that they were recorded on. In the clip list, you can see that our first vocal take was called vocal underscore 01, which is a combination of the track name and the take number. Notice that vocal 01 is a whole file clip, which is reflected by its boldface type. Any edits you make to vocal 01 will create subclips. These are the non-bold clip names that you see below Vocal01. These names are created by taking the name of their whole file clip and adding the edit number using a dash at the end of the file name. If you want to change a file or clip name, simply double click on the file or clip in the edit window or in the clip list. The name dialog box will open. Here you can see that because Vocal01 is a whole file clip, I have two naming options. The first will change the name of the clip in Pro Tools, but not change the name of the file on the hard drive. The second will change both the name of the clip in Pro Tools and the name of the disk file. To remove clips from the session, you can either click on the name of the clip in the clips list and then choose Clear from the clip list pop-up menu, or you can right-click the clip in the clip list and select Clear. In either case, the Clear Clips dialog will appear. If you click the Remove button, you'll simply remove the clip from the session, but the file will still remain on the hard drive. If you click the Delete button, Pro Tools will remove the clip from the session and also delete the source file on the hard disk. If you attempt to remove or delete a clip that has been placed on a tracks playlist, on the clipboard, or in the Undo queue, you will get an additional warning. If you still want to remove or delete the clip, just click Yes. Clicking No will cancel the clear command.